11.2 um, addition and subtraction of equations. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. So our common course strand is is presented right there, and then our our question here is um, um, uh, how do we solve equations that contain addition and subtraction? Okay, so some of you guys have probably already done this stuff, and it's just a, hopefully it'll be a nice review for you guys. If not. I think it's easy enough to catch on, so here we go. So a puppy weighed six ounces at birth. After two weeks, the puppy weighed 14 ounces. How much uh, weight did the puppy gain? Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, let X represent the number of ounces that that puppy gained after two weeks. So um, the weight at birth was six ounces, and so if X is the number of ounces gained, then we're gonna add that to that. So we're gonna plus X, and then that's gonna equal uh, the weight of the puppy after two weeks, which is 14 ounces. So now we're going to answer the question. We can solve um, uh, 6 plus x equals 14. Okay, and so what we're going to do is use um, uh, algebra tiles to model this situation in a in a mat right here. They call this mat. So this equation mat represents the two sides of an equation. So right here, whoops, uh, let's see, where did I lose that? Let me take that back here. Uh, sorry, you can't see that. I forgot all about that. Let me, okay, here we go. Now you can see it. Okay, so um, here is our 6 right here plus x right here. So 6 plus x equals, this should be 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7 is 14. So here we have 6 plus x equals 14, and that represents um, uh, this equation right here. Okay, so now... Uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, uh, solve this equation by, by removing the same number of tiles from both sides of the mat until the x tiles are by itself, uh, the, the x tiles all by itself, um, and, and then whatever's left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away uh, two tiles here, so that means I'm going to take away two tiles here. So whatever we do to one side, we do it to the other. So there's that right there. Okay, and then now I'm going to do another two tiles. So I'm going to take away these two tiles and take away these two tiles right there until we're done with the X. But, uh, we're just uh, left with the X tiles. Okay, let's do it again. Let's take away two more right there. So now we just have all those gone, and we took away six tiles from both sides. Okay, now we're left with, you guys, we're left with... Uh, uh, this X here equals the remaining numbers right here. And so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so, so um, uh, we removed, how many tiles did we remove? Well, we removed six of those. So we removed six, and there are, uh, there's eight tiles left on the right-hand side. So the puppy has gained eight ounces, okay? All right, so um, now we don't have to use tiles. In fact, um, uh, some teachers probably don't have tiles, and that's okay. There's another way to do this. And so, so communicating math ideas, and so how do we know when the model showed the final solution? And how do we read that solution? Well, the X tile is alone on the left side of the mat, so the solution is the number of tiles that are left on the other side. So here we have... Um, uh, we have uh, this X right here, this X equals this 8 right here because we took away 6 away from both sides right there, okay? All right, so why do we remove tiles from each side of the model? Okay, well, we wanted to remove tiles equally from both sides to keep the equation balanced, and that way we can let be left over with that leftover X up there. So, so when we took away these 6 tiles right there and these 6 tiles, and we're left with this X, which is our our answer of how many uh, uh, ounces that puppy gained equals the remaining tiles over here, which was 8. Okay, so using subtraction to solve equations, so the subtraction property of equality says we can subtract the same number from both sides of the equation, and uh, the two sides will remain equal. Okay, all right, so uh, when an equation contains an addition sign, we solve uh, by subtracting that number that we're adding uh, the same number from both sides. Okay. So solve this equation, a plus 15 equals 26, and we'll graph the solution on a, on a number line, okay? So what we're going to do first is subtract 15 from both sides, okay? So 26 minus 15, we don't have to borrow or anything, so we should get 11 right there. And then we're going to go ahead and check, you guys, is 11 plus 15 equal to 26? 11 plus 15 does equal 26, so it does check out. So now let's graph 
11 on the number line right there. So I'm going to just go ahead and put a, a nice blue dot right there at the 11 right there, okay? All right, easy enough, okay. Okay, let's do uh, communicate math ideas. How do we decide which number to subtract from both sides? Well, we subtract the number that we added, that was added to the variable, so that variable can be by itself or isolated or alone on one side of the equation because we want that variable all by itself to figure out what it is. Here's another one. Solve the equation 5 equals w plus 1 and 1 half and then graph the solution on the number line. Okay, here we're going to subtract 1 and a half from both sides. Here we go. All right, now 5 minus 1 is 4, so if we took off an additional half, 4 minus a half would give us 3 and a half. So 5 minus 1 and a half is 3 and a half. So w equals 3 and a half. Okay, let's go ahead and graph that on the number line here. So I'm going to go ahead and graph three and a half right there. So, so it's right in between the three and the four. So halfway in between, I'm going to put a dot right there for, for three and a half right there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So uh, now we're going to solve equations that represent geometry. So do you guys remember that a straight line has an angle measure of 180 degrees? It's okay if you don't, but we're going to use that fact here. So here we have a a straight line right here. This straight line is exactly 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is cut that line up into two angles right there, and two angles that make up that straight line, they're called a linear pair. You'll hear that a lot when you get into Integrated Math 1 um, uh, soon. Okay, so, um, uh, and, and if they're a linear pair, then they add up to 180. Okay, so linear pairs add up to 180, and angles that add up to 180 are said to be supplementary angles, okay? So here, 1 plus 2 adds up to 180 because they make up that straight line, so they're supplementary, okay? And then two angles who add up to 90 are called complementary angles, okay? So, so here we have two angles that give us this right angle right here. That's what this little box means, is a 90 degree angle. So these two angles have to add up to 90 right there, so they are complementary angles right there, okay? So 3 plus 4 equals 90. Okay, so find the measure of the unknown angle. Okay, so here we have a straight line right here. So, so this angle plus this angle, these guys are called a linear pair. And how, because they're a linear pair, they're a pair of angles that make up a line. That's what linear means. Linear means line, okay? So anyways, these guys add up to be 180. So x plus 60 equals 180. Then we'll subtract 60 from both sides. Don't have to borrow, so we get 120 right there. Okay, all right, so write and solve an equation to find the measure of the unknown angle here. Okay, so here we have a right angle, so these guys are complementary angles, so uh, they add up to 90, so 65 plus x equals, uh, equals 90, or x plus 65 equals 90, then we'll subtract 65 from both sides. Okay, here we have to borrow, you guys, so what I'm going to do is borrow from that 9 right here, so I'm going to borrow from that 9 and make it an 8. And then what I can do then is make this 0 a 10. So I'm going to cross off the 9, make it an 8, and cross off the 0 and make it a 10. Okay? And then, um, so now I can go ahead and, and subtract straight down. So, so I have 10 minus 5 is 5, and then 8 minus 6 is 2. So x equals 25 degrees right there. Okay? Always try to answer it in the context of the problem. These are in degrees right here. Okay? So that one was in ounces, that puppy gained uh, 8 ounces, so always don't just say 8 or 25, to, you know, what is it, 25 what or 8 what, okay? So try to answer it in the context of, of, the, of the question. So write and solve an equation to find the complement of a 42 degree angle. Okay, complement means that they add up to 90. So I'm going to go ahead and add these guys up to 90. So our unknown angle plus 42 equals 90. So we'll subtract 42, and here we got to borrow again. So I'm going to borrow from this 9, make it an 8. So I'll cross off the 9 and make it an 8. I'm sorry about that. That's getting away from me. And then it's going to make this 0 a 10. So then let's do that real quick. So um, we get um, uh, we just borrowed. So now we can go ahead and do um, uh, this uh, 10 minus 2. Sorry. So 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 minus 4 is 4, so 48, okay, so it's 48 degrees right there, okay, all right, find the supplement of 42, okay, supplementary means they add up to 180, so x plus 42 equals 180, so we're going to subtract 42, borrow from the 8, make it a 7, 
and make that 0 a 10. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 minus 4 is uh, 3. And then 1 minus 0 is 1. So 138 degrees right there. Okay. All right. Let's try this, you guys. Uh, let's write a real world problem for the equation 21.79 plus x equals 25 and then solve the problem. Okay, so 21.79 sure is a representation for money, so we're going to talk about money. So something that costs 21.79 um, and it's going to total seven or $25. So, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So x is the unknown value that we want to find and 21.79 is the added to x. So it equals 25 means that after adding 21.79 and x, the result's going to be 25. So here's our here's a, an application problem. So Joshua wants to buy his mom flowers and a card for Mother's Day. Josh has $25 to spend and selects roses for $21.79. So how much can he spend on the card? So we'll let x be that number that he can spend on the card. Okay, so let's just slide that up. So we're going to solve the equation 21.79 plus x equals 25 and we're going to go ahead and uh, subtract 21.79. Now what I have to do here you guys, um, and I know some of you guys you have calculators but you get a little reliant and you just don't give up on your subtraction skills. They're not that hard you guys. I know they're kind of a drag. But uh, you guys can still do that. So let's go ahead and add a decimal and two zeros to that 25 right there. And then we can start borrowing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is borrow from that 5 right there, make it a 4. It's going to make this a 10, but I have to borrow from this 10 and make it a 9 to make this a 10 right here. So we'll have enough on top to subtract all of those, okay? All right, so here we go. So I did that. So, okay, so now we have, uh, we can go ahead and uh, subtract. So we can do 10 minus 9 is 1. Remember, we slide that decimal straight down. So the decimal goes right there. And then 9 minus, um, uh, 9 minus this 7 is 2. 4 minus uh, 1 is 3. So we get 321. Okay, so that's how much Josh will have left to spend on the card for Mother's Day. All right. All right, you guys. I hope you like Popeye. I sure did when I was your age. Take care, you guys.